let's face this, okay? No matter how important we think we are, Krishna doesn't need another servant. So when your ego says to you, uh, serve Krishna, what? What? Serve Krishna? Serve? Krishna? Serve Krishna? What's that? <laughs> when you hear that, remind yourself that Krishna doesn't need another servant. He's actually calling us to devotional service. The translation, the nearest translation in English of bhakti is devotional service. That means activities performed for, for the pleasure and happiness and benefit of others, for the <coughs> pleasure and benefit and happiness of Krishna, with no selfish agenda. And Krishna doesn't want us to practice this bhakti for his own gratification. He wants us to practice so that it becomes, so that our, because that is our true eternal nature, he wants that nature to manifest again so that we can re-enter into eternal leela in the spiritual world. We must remind ourselves of this. Becoming a servant, we will not be the loser. We're the loser listening to this lying, empty entity lifetime after lifetime. Going round and round the wheel of samsara, the blazing fire of material existence, birth after birth, searching for happiness and not finding it over and over again. In that state of existence, we are the, the loser. If we go back to our eternal dharma, nitya dharma, if we go back to bhakti, we will become the unlimited winner because we will be able to live once more in the spiritual sky. Why? Because the whole atmosphere of Godhead, the whole atmosphere of Vaikuntha, of the spiritual world, is based on the mood of what can I do for everyone else. The mood of I'm going to use everything at my disposal to bring happiness and benefit to everyone else for the pleasure of Krishna and for the pleasure obviously of you know the other people <coughs> on the receiving end of bhakti people experience great pleasure so bhakti means that I am going to dedicate everything I have at my disposal for the pleasure and happiness of the living entities and Krishna this is bhakti and that's nitya dharma bhakti means the eternal truth the eternal position and we must gravitate back towards that so long ego <laughs> I've been with you for many lives but this life I'm going to listen to Srila Prabhupada Prabhupada told me that I can leave you in one life I just need to take these nine processes of devotional service seriously and I can go back to my normal liberated state where I can be free to be myself and free to love without any hindrance, to offer everything I have in loving devotional service to Krishna and his creation. And that's me for eternity. <laughs>